Have you heard of the saying that old habits die hard? Yes, and honestly, old habits, especially bad habits, are really hard to break. <laughs> like being lazy, sleeping late when you have to get up early, or even just procrastinating. But you know what? Old habits aren't impossible to get over. It's really just all in the mind. Yeah, because to give you another cliche, if there's a will, there's a way. So if you're determined and motivated to break that nasty lifestyle cycle of yours, well, you can do it. Willpower lang yan. That's right. And to give you just a little bit more motivation to get you going, well, Tere and I are happy to help. I am Maggie Wilson. And I'm Tere Kairos. And this is Fit and Fab, your ultimate guide to being a better you. Reach for the sky. Dance to the beat. Yeah. Pamper yourself. Go all out. So, you want to be fitter and fabber? Well, with tonight's show, you definitely will. From improving your beauty routines, to healthy breakfast habits, to tips on how to be trendy, to household chore workouts, to improving upper body strength, you'll break old habits in no time. And to start off our show, let's get in touch with our fab side. Oh, yeah, and favorite guy. Our key guy side. Yes, man. the only side that... <laughs> Mm, that's really fun, right? Yes, really, really, really fun. Don't you love those magazines where they, where they have paparazzi shots of celebs shopping? They look <laughs> so gorgeous. Oh, oh my God! Ilang magazine internet then people.com. Teresilton.com. Favorite. Stalker. Nakatuwa kayo pa no or nyo mga nagkoffee sila. Dala dala yung mga bag nila magkakal. You know, yeah, it's true. Like they really make an effort to look good when they go out. Ano yung ginagamit nila? Do they always wear makeup every day? Do they moisturize? Fresh, fresh nila lang. I'm sure they all have their beauty secrets. Exactly. I'm sure they use like Obagi and have Botox regularly. Oh, pero mahal yun, di ba? They have a yeah. very high maintenance beauty routine. Mm -hmm. But you know, celebs may have all the money in the world to indulge in all their beauty fantasies. But that doesn't mean that their beauty routines are totally out of reach. Well, we give you the lowdown on how you can be a celeb in your own right, beauty-wise. Watch this. Celebrities hold the fascination of everybody. They are admired by the public, not just for their talents, but also for their looks. Have you ever wondered why they always have that artista glow? Of course, they make an effort to make sure that they look good. They really invest in what makeup or they put on themselves. They invest in body and skin treatments. They also watch what they eat and exercise. So I think that's why overall they always look so gorgeous. Read showbiz magazines and websites and watch celebrity interviews. You'll find all sorts of beauty practices that celebs swear by. At one extreme, Demi Moore says, leeches help her maintain her youthful look. Care to give that a try? Other Hollywood stars each have their own favorite skincare products. Dermalogica users include Lucy Liu and Courtney Cox Arquette. While Brooke Shields and Uma Thurman love various products from the Murad line of cosmetics. But here's the thing, the secret to looking as good as a celebrity is no earth-shattering secret at all. One is they take care of their skin. Nga. They invest like most of the celebrities usually. It's Sometimes it's a bit expensive what they buy, but then it doesn't really have to be expensive. Uh, like if you check out the Cosmo Beauty Awards, we the editors here, we tried and tested all of these products. So these are the best of the best. So you don't have to really spend a lot, but as long as you use it regularly, then you will see the benefits on your face, your hair, everything. Skincare need not be an elaborate regimen of treatments and products. A simple regimen when done regularly can improve the health and look of your skin. For any patients who want to achieve a healthy, younger, glowing skin, the basic regimen should require a good cleanser in order to wash the face to remove of the excess dirt as well as the excess oil and sebum. And just to remind those of you who still believe that sunblock is used solely for the beach, think again. Everyone should have a good sunblock whether or not you're in the house, whether or not you're going out. Every person should put sunblock every, every morning and reapply it every four hours. 
Night creams are a must before bedtime. The basic night creams has exfoliating substances wherein when you put on it on your skin on a regular basis every night, the outer dead part of the skin would be exfoliated. It's very hard to try to fit going to your dermos maybe on a weekly or every two weeks or even a monthly schedule for some, for some individuals. So I try to instill in them the values of using the right products such that um, treatment of the skin should start at home. Other products in the market that help you get that celebrity glow are body scrubs that you can use every two weeks. The technique here is not to rush through it. Just think, like if, if you're at a spa, usually they spend like mga five, ten minutes really sloughing every area of your body. So don't rush it because it defeats the purpose. And then after that, moisturize. Once you step out of the shower, make sure you moisturize your face and your body because that's when your skin can absorb it the best. And if you can fit it in your budget, get a facial. A person can have weekly facials or every two weeks. But of course, facials should be done um, by an expert person, uh, an expert dermatologist or a trained dermatologist, not just any individual, because facials can also have good effects on the skin. It also can have damaging effects on the skin if done incorrectly. When you have good skin, achieving beauty becomes easier. All you need is a little dedication to a skincare routine. Now, I'm sure we girls can all manage that, right? Now, how about investing just a little more effort to get that extra celebrity sparkle? Invest your time in it because sometimes, admittedly, nakakatamad. But if you want to look like a celeb, you really have to make an effort. And also, I guess one of the reasons why they always look gorgeous is they never step out, whether they're going to the groceries. Lagi sila maganda. They always take time to put on a little, a little makeup and also to fix their hair. I think that's it. Just really spend some time making yourself beautiful. Maybe what you can have in your purse is one of those powder foundation compacts. If you want a dry finish, then you get the powder talaga. If you want something a bit creamier, then you can get the ones that are water-based. Yung typical powder compact, so you can just, you know, dab it on to even out your face. Make sure you have concealer also so that if you're puyat or if you have too much, if you've been at work, nag ka, so you have to put concealer under your eyes in the dark spots. After that, to freshen up, make sure you curl your lashes so that your eyes are very bright and they don't look tired. Just curl your lashes, put a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. Now, so that you look glowing, the secret is put blush. Like for Pinice, a nice, a nice color is something that's a, bit, a mix of pink and peach. So that's a nice color to get. And then, of course, a little bit of lipstick with gloss. That's it. That'll take you mga five minutes max. A combination of a few basic products, a little effort and time, and you're on your way to looking just as good as a celeb. Now you're ready for the paparazzi. Start your day not by skipping breakfast. The lowdown on the most important meal of the day is up next on Fit and Fab. And later, dying to be fashion forward but don't know how, we give you tips on how to wear a trend the right way. Stay tuned. Max, I have a confession to make. Usually, I skip breakfast. Ikaw ba? Yeah, me too. I don't usually get up in time for breakfast, so I end up having brunch instead. Ako naman, madami ko siya ginagawa naman madali. So, luxury na talaga if I get to eat breakfast. Bawi nila ng lunchtime, which is also wrong. You know, I guess we're both guilty of skipping breakfast, which is the most important meal of the day. That's why FinFab gives you and us some great start-the-day habits, so we won't ever have to break our daily breakfast habits. mornings always have this question, should I eat my breakfast? For many of us, especially busy women, we jump right into our day without it. And while most people think that a cup of coffee is as good enough brekkie to start the day, it's not. Yes, it's true. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day um, because whatever you eat for breakfast, that will be your source of energy for the whole day. meal of the day, why do a lot of us still skip it? If asked, most people would acknowledge that eating something in the morning is a good idea. Yet, 
nearly one-fifth of adults don't eat at all in the morning. One classic excuse is often about dieting. People feel that by ignoring the first meal of the day, they are reducing their caloric intake and promoting weight loss. The idea is to eat regular, small, frequent meals rather than skipping meals to attain a weight, weight loss. So the idea is to have a, a balanced, balanced meal also. And you don't have to need to skip meals in, in order to limit your calorie intake. Breakfast was designed to rev up your body for the rest of the day by boosting your energy, keeping your eating patterns even, and stimulating your body's metabolism. To break our beliefs about breakfast, I went around Manila's favorite breakfast places to try mouth-watering breakfast dishes that would surely entice your appetite and give you a healthy breakfast eating habit. We're at Flapjacks, and now I'm going to try out all their best sellers. This is my job, fantastic. Ang hirap na ako, kakain lang ako. Titigman ko lahat. I love pancakes, and usually when I have my pancakes, I only put bananas. So, it's basically like a pancake pizza. And so there's three layers. Oof, and pancake and caramel and toffee, I think. Ready? Cakes isn't the only speciality of flapjacks. They're also known for their heavy, fully loaded, truly satisfying breakfast meals like their breakfast steak, country chicken, hash brown burgers, and ham. And would you believe I sampled all of these? First up is the rib eye omelet. Oh my goodness! For all you fanatic people out there who love to eat breakfast and steaks and everything, this is the place for you. Okay. Oh, oh no. Yeah. It's like eating steak but in the morning. <clears throat> oh my god. Next is the country fried chicken. I always love chicken because chicken is white meat and it's good for you. It's high in protein. So let's try it. And corn's always yummy as well. Corn muna. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god, look at that. Cheese, hash brown, a patty, tomato, lettuce, and mayonnaise, and bread. Oh my god. Okay. Some taong malalaki ang appetites jan, bagay na bagay to sa inyo. Kasi for me, I won't be able to finish this. Wow. Okay. Nutritionists actually suggest that we have a heavy breakfast, so these meals are perfect. Ideal uh, is something that you have one variety. Meaning of variety is that all the ma nutrients that you need in the body will be, will be present. Carbohydrates will give that boost of energy to jumpstart your day and you can easily get them from whole wheat pancakes and breads. A mix of protein will be the staying power to keep your body going strong over the next three to four hours until lunch. Meats like scrumptious steak, chicken, and ham are rich in that. And each meal of flapjacks comes with vitamin-enriched vegetables. For a more traditional Pinoy breakfast, Heaven and Egg serves the best tapsi and other silogs. They also have your not-so-ordinary breakfasts that are as equally delicious and nutritious. These meals don't look ordinary indeed. Their names are different sounding too. Pigs in a blanket? They're actually sausages delightfully wrapped in pancakes. And do you like green eggs and ham? This must be Dr. Zeus. All right, my next dish is called the pigs in a blanket. Now it's really, really, really good. Next are the vitamin C pancakes. You know, I don't really have a sweet tooth, but I've always had a soft spot for pancakes because they're so good, especially with syrup. Now this is interesting because all of these pancakes have something citrus in them. This one has almonds and mandarin. This one has orange and some chocolate. And this has lemon and lime. And this is this has dalandan naman. It's like a dalandan meringue. So I'm gonna go for it. Let's try the ano first, dalandan meringue. It's really good. You can really taste the, the lemon and the lime. They have zest bits in it. Including fruits in your breakfast not only gives you vitamins, some fruits are also fiber-enriched, which will make you feel light and up and about throughout the day. 
Heaven and Eggs has this fruit kebab and salad that is yummy and good for the tummy. Mmm. I think I like this one. Trying all these breakfast dishes reminded me of how good it is to wake up early and have a filling start. So, if you're a late morning person, try waking up earlier than usual and you'll see wonderful results. You don't have to skip any meal, especially the breakfast. Uh, especially the breakfast, you don't have to skip meal. You have, don't have to skip that because that would be your energy for the day and less chances of overeating for the next meal. So if you have a wake-up-and-go lifestyle, you don't really have to go to a restaurant for your first meal. You can have all these at your home. For breakfast, like you can take oatmeal or cereals. You probably can top it with some fruits and you can probably have some yogurt or milk on the side. Stock up your cupboards with nutritious breakfast goodies like whole wheat bread, fruit juice, yogurt, eggs, oats, and the like. You can whip up your own breakfast meal just like what breakfast clubs serve. But if you're really on the go, have a quick and easy to prepare cereal brekkie. Cereal is not only a traditional way to go at breakfast, but also may be one of the quickest and versatile meals for the morning time rush. Going the milk and cereal route is a perfect way to combine protein and carbohydrates. But remember, opt for wholesome cereals that are iron enriched and have a high fiber content. By taking the breakfast challenge to get up a little early, not only will you enjoy the coolness of the day, you will also be able to focus on fueling your body, giving you more energy throughout the day and conditioning your body to maintain a healthier weight throughout the year. So rise and shine early tomorrow and have that healthy and scrumptious breakfast. Love reading about trends but are too afraid of being trendy yourself? FinFab and Seventeen Magazine show you how to be fashionably forward coming up next. And later, too lazy to go to the gym? Get a great workout by doing some old-fashioned household chores. Stay tuned. Skinny jeans, gladiator sandals, high-waisted skirts, yan talaga ang in ngayon. And really, Mags, who doesn't love fashion? Definitely not me. I mean, who doesn't love dressing up and strutting down that imaginary catwalk wherever you go? Especially pag fashion ka. But sometimes, it's hard to translate a trend from a fashion mag to real life, right? Right. That's why we sought the advice of the experts at Seventeen Magazine on how to be fashion forward and not a fashion victim. Watch this. How the fashion savvy always manages to look effortlessly put together? Clue in on the tricks we've got up our sleeves to help you get styled up. From elegantly classy to sophisticatedly chic to inspiredly avant garde to out and out over the top. No matter what the season, trends are the driving force behind every fashion look. With literally hundreds of colors, prints, and styles to choose from, it's always fun raiding our closet to match our mood and mood for the day. But sometimes, dressing up can be a bit of a challenge, especially in these fashion-forward times. I would say that I really love fashion in general. I'm more into planes. Um, sometimes I love ruffles and the different cuts. But then, just like the pants, sometimes I'm worrying that, oh, uh -huh, might, I might look horrible in this. Even though um, if I see it in the store or in the mannequin, oh, it's so cute, it's, it's really hot, but then it might not look good. And I really don't know how to wear such kind of things. Like, for example, there's something new. I, I want to try it, but then I don't know how to. Anne is one of the many girls who would like to try glamming it up, but is too afraid to play with trends. Just like budding fashion designer Glenda, whose fashion doesn't always translate to her looking fab from head to toe. Yeah, I've always loved fashion and dressing up, especially I like designing clothes and I really like seeing people wearing trends. The trends that I've been following recently are mostly uh, emperor cut tops, loose tops, um, those with sleeves and those mostly that are block colored, no prints. 
I'm having a particularly hard time with um, skirts and accessories. I like to play things safe, so I, I pick classic stuff. I'm not really a funky person. I, I just go with neutral colors. If I weren't so scared of dressing up, I would love to be in Agnes Lane's shoes or in Kate Moss's shoes because they're really um, effortlessly trendy. I always wonder how, how people can get away with such really trendy stuff. And I really wish how I really wish that I could be more confident and pull these things off and and learn how to put things together. Well that's what we're here for. Prep up for Fit and Fab's fashion crash course on trend spotting. To help out Anne and Glenda discover their inner fashionistas is Seventeen Magazine fashion assistant, Laika. Fashion in general comes up with new things that a lot of us can try, and these are the trends. So being trendy is, you know, being brave enough to try these things and infusing it into the clothes that we already have. Being fashion savvy is someone who knows how to wear these trends well, who can be daring, but can also be conservative in the sense that you, you can combine trends, know how to wear them, but not overdo it. So a fashion victim is usually someone who piles things on, you know, who doesn't really know how to match things well. So with our models for today, we're gonna style, um, we're gonna dress them up and style them with the latest trends here at Topshop, and we're gonna show everyone how to wear these trends the right way. Now girls, don't look so scared. Like his top trend tip, don't be afraid to add a little color to your bottoms. The trend that we're showing here on the first outfit on Anne is really bright colored bottoms. We're really conservative when it comes to our pants, our skirts, and our shorts, and we always wear denims or black. So a fun way to infuse some fun and excitement and the trend into your outfit is to wear something colored than the bottom. I paired it with just a plain white top with a checkered corset, black flats, and a black sling bag just to anchor the whole outfit. Another 08 trend that's sweeping the globe, the tailored jacket. The trend that we're showing here um, is the fitted jacket or the blazer. So a lot of the stores now have this. It's really great to have this linen in a color that can match a lot of things like black. So what we do is we match this with a mini dress. It lessens the femininity of the dress when you pair it with a tailored jacket. Choose also a jacket that hits right at the waist so that it forms with the curves of your body. I also chose some basic accessories like a cream colored clutch. It's actually in a, in a snake um, material and also just Mary Jane flats just to pull everything together. Making a splash this year is menswear, something that even the girliest of girls should try. Another off-the-moment trend that you can try and add to your wardrobe is menswear. That's really hot right now and we love using that at 17 actually. You can try on little things like a button-down top or like a vest like this. You can wear it over a dress. You can also wear it with shorts, with a tank top. It's a really versatile piece. But here I paired it with a printed mini dress and then um, a weathered leather bag and just flats. The comeback trend of the season? Old school denim jackets. So what we do is we pair it with a mini dress just to balance off the length. You don't want to expose too much skin when you're wearing a mini dress. So try to cover up the top. This is a trend that a lot of people are afraid to try mixing funky colors together. But it pulls the look together and it's, it's a fun way to infuse a trend into your outfit. Clueless about mixing trendy prints and patterns? Laika says, know your print and patterns right. A lot of us are afraid to try mixing prints and patterns, but that's really so in right now, and that's really the trend. So what you do to mix prints and patterns like this striped cardigan and this floral top is to find complementing colors. So this top has yellow in it. Try a striped top that also has yellow, and blue and yellow, as you can see, really go well together. Anchor it with just uh, light denim pants and flats, and there's that's your look. And last but not the least on your trend countdown, the uber popular high-waisted skirt. When you're slipping into a high-waisted skirt, 
try to pick one, um, first of all, in a basic color, only because it catches a lot of attention. It's a really trendy type of piece. Pair it with a bright color top, like this black and blue goes really well together. Cinch it also at the waist to emphasize your curves even more. I also paired it with Mary Jane plaids, just to pull everything together. Now that wasn't so hard, right? To pull off trends without looking tacky, all you have to do is remember these basic tips. First of all, you really need confidence in pulling off trends that you're a little bit afraid to try on. Um, when you're confident in what you want to wear or what you want other people to see in you, you, you will put that message across that you know, you're game to try new trends. Read a lot of magazines. Like in Seventeen, we have articles that show you how to wear trends in the right way. For those who play it safe or who are more conservative with their clothes, they can always try one trendy piece at a time or one trend at a time so that it's not too overwhelming for their style. You know how they say it's not the clothes that make the woman? So whether it is you're a lover of fad or more into classics, be sure to confidently wear pieces that are you and no one else. And you are guaranteed to sizzle in them. Want some motivation to do your household chores? Well, they're really good workouts. Get physical with dishwashing, sweeping, and cleaning, coming up next. And later, increase your upper body strength with tonight's Q&A. Stay tuned. Max, are you tamad? Like, ano, sa bahay, do chores, pick up after yourself. Parang talagang lukot na lukot na yung mukha mo. Ah, yeah, I'm tamad. But not in general, though. I mean, I just don't like doing house chores. Like, I don't like making my bed or changing the sheets. I don't mind vacuuming, though. But yung pinaka-hate ko, I don't like doing the dishes. Talaga? I really don't. Bakit? Ako, okay sa akin yung dishes. Hindi ko na talaga tayo. Pag-walis, sobrang ayaw ko talaga siya. Talaga? With a vengeance, ayaw ko siya. Oh, my God. But did you know that these little household chores can actually go a long way, fitness-wise? Lalo na kung hindi ka mahilig mag-gym. That's right. With Fit & Fab's feature on how your household chores can become great at-home workouts. You will never have to beat them up to do the dishes ever again. When you think of the word exercise, you probably picture yourself working out at the gym or playing some sports outdoors. But did you know that you could also get a great workout by doing some household chores? And for our first household workout, something that you probably don't even notice anymore. Walking up and down the stairs. Some household tasks like this can elevate your heart rate and work all your major muscle groups and could definitely burn extra calories. You want to lose weight. Walking up and down the stairs is equivalent to our steppers at mga gyms or the elliptical trainer. You are working out your cardiovascular endurance, yung heart mo and yung lungs. No? Walking up and down the stairs can burn approximately 100 to 200 calories if done for 20 to 30 minutes, at the same time working out your quads and calves. Want to burn calories a little bit higher? Supercharge your stair climbing. So if you guys want to intensify your workout, the suggestion ko is you take two steps at a time, so bali mas malaki yung hakbang ninyo, or you can jog while going up or going down the stairs. Another effective household exercise, sweeping the floor. It's great for your arms and your legs. Sweeping actually strengthens your back, shoulders, arms, and legs, and is almost equivalent to doing lateral races or rows at the gym. Who knew that a dirty floor could do wonders for your body? Remember to take long and steady strokes, sweeping alternately with both hands. This will make the chore more body effective, not to mention give you spotless floors. But ladies, when you sweep, be mindful of your posture. When you're sweeping the floor, siyempre, medyo nakayoko ka niyan. So, dapat malakas yung back mo. Kasi ang unang sasakit, likod, di ba? Yung mga mahina yung likod. Dapat tama yung posture mo. So, you have to strengthen your lower back. Siyempre, hindi ka naman magbibuild ng muscles overnight sa pagwawalis lang, di ba? But if you do it regularly and then kakaroon mo talagang walisin yung yard mo every now and then, I think it's a good workout. Papawisan ka at the very least. Want to have toned arm muscles? You don't need to slave away with a dumbbell. You can find a nice household arm workout alternative like lifting things from one place to another. 
Mahirap maglinis ng bahay. Workout talaga. Redecorating or rearranging a room? No sweat. Let your creative interior decorating juices flow while toning your arms. Lift objects for 12 to 15 repetitions for 2 to 3 sets. And be sure to keep your abdominals tight throughout this exercise to protect your lower back. To minimize yung lower back na pains na na-experience natin, proper form is important. So when you're picking up objects, especially heavy boxes, heavy things, no, you squat yung mga squats natin. No? So proper training dyan sa gym equivalent is the squats. But don't overdo it. Lift objects whose weight you can definitely handle. You wouldn't want to break your back while rearranging the sala, would you? Dishwashing can be a pain and bad for your hands. But washing the dishes not only gets your plates clean, but it's also great for toning your arms. It's also great for your lower body because it allows your hips to turn, which makes your torso twist when you put away the clean dishes in high and low shelves. If you're doing twisting movements, and pagkatapos mong maglinis, ilalagay mo na siya dun sa lalagyanan. Then, while you're twisting, you're also working out your uh, obliques, no? your core, when you're stabilizing yourself pag nakatayo ka. I think it's not really good for my manicure and stuff like that. Okay, lang, kasi, you know, naman, arm workout. Naman siya. Natutone naman yung arms. Ko. So, okay lang na matako kami ng pamilya at marami kami ng dishes na lagi pinapahugasan. So, looking at the bright side of it na. Uh, this is one thing that I really do. And I enjoy, sincerely enjoy washing the dishes. Kasi, alam, hindi ko maglinis. Parang it's such a girly thing to do para sa akin. And totoo yan na nakaka-workout siya ng arms. Kasi lagi nakataas eh. Walang moment na nakabagsak yung kamay mo. So kahit nagbabanlaw ka, nagsasabon ka, or naghuhug-hug ka lang, laging gumagalaw yung arms mo. So talagang may lifting. Kahit magbagaan lang siya, yung repetition talaga. Yung feeling ko nakaka-build ng muscles. Just remember, the farther the distance between your dishwasher and cupboards and drawers, the more exercise you will get. Did you know that washing your car is a great way to tone your arms? Hmm, I might include it now in my weekly routine. It sure is a great help for my car and my arms. Again, para siyang dishwashing, but if you do uh, yung round, rounded movements, yung rotation na ganyan, you are also using your rotator cuff muscles. So, may mga rotator cuff uh, exercises tayong pwedeng gawin. And then again, uh, core stability. So next time, do your own car washing. You'll get a great workout, a cleaner car, and even save money. Ang kagandahan naman sa kamay ko ay yan, mahaba siya. So kalahati agad, isang hagod pa lang. Ang problema lang, mas marami rin ng lugar na pwedeng sumakit kasi mas mahaba nga siya. Climbing stairs, washing dishes, sweeping the floor, and washing your car. Because they're great cardio and toning activities, you should never take them for granted again. So the next time it's chore time, don't be too mad. Not only does it get your house clean, but it also gives you a fantastic workout as well. Happy cleaning! Coming up on Fit and Fab, ways and workouts to increase your upper body strength. Stay tuned. Tonight's Q&A comes from our very special letter sender, Alma Magallanes. She writes, I'm a person who is physically handicapped. My legs are small and the upper part of my body is quite chubby. Since I can't move normally, most of the time I'm going to a wheelchair. Hope you could provide me with some information on what kinds of exercises I should do at home for me to be able to lose weight, especially my upper part of the body. Thank you and more power to your program. Alma, you asked and of course we answered. Improve your upper body strength with these proven workouts straight from the experts. Improving our upper body strength is as easy as one, two, three. Here are some strength training exercises that we can do. Most women are reluctant to work out their upper bodies for fear of bulking it up. But working out your upper body has so many physical benefits. 
It increases our normal bone density to avoid osteoporosis, improves our posture, and enhances our feeling of well-being and self-confidence. Actually, there are a lot of exercises to improve our upper, upper body strength and build our endurance, our muscular endurance in the upper body. First, let's try out the vertical chest machine, which primarily works out our chest muscles. So make sure your back is straight, then the backrest, shoulders down, elbow extend. Okay, and then engage inner core. Always maintain a top belly as you go along with the exercise. All you have to do is to press the machine forward, and as you press, you exhale. All right, that's good. Inhale as you go back to starting position, and then exhale again. Work the vertical chest machine for 8 to 10 reps for two sets twice a week, and you're sure to get a firmer chest. For your upper body back muscles, try doing some lat pulldowns. Primarily, this is for the uh, entire back and minor muscle involved is the bicep. Okay, so as we do the exercise, you will just grip it there, all right? So maintain an inclined position. Always chest out, proper body alignment. So we have her inclined para mag-engage yung core muscles niya. Okay, and then all you have to do is to pull it down, exhale, as you go down, and then inhale as you go up. For rock-solid abdominals, hit the ab machine. So just place your elbow, then some movement pad, then slightly grip lang yung uh, handrail. All right, and all you have to do is to crunch down. All right, so one, inhale, and then exhale as you go down. There are also upper body exercises that we can do in the comfort of our own home. Like the shoulder press. So to do this exercise, uh, hold the dumbbell on the side of your body and then overhead press lang all the way up. Okay. Then down. So syempre, as we do the exercise, kailangan slightly bend ang knees, engage ang inner core, proper body alignment, and then exhale as you press. Exhale. As you go down, dapat level or slightly lower ang elbow joint sa shoulder. So, para ma-incorporate natin yung full range of motion exercise. So, this would heat the uh, entire shoulder muscle. Another great at-home exercise, the bicep curl. Exhale as you go up, then slowly lower your arms down. So, same thing, uh, guidelines, slightly bend your knee, and then maintain a engaged inner core. Proper body alignment, of course. Then, there's also the double kickback, which works out our triceps. So, stop position. So, again, proper body alignment, engage inner core. Arms and the body should be parallel. Hold that position and then just extend your elbow backwards. So, one, exhale as you extend, two. These are all exercises that we can do even if we're just sitting down or without dumbbells. Just grab simple things to replace the dumbbells as your weight. And finally, there's the easiest exercise of all the wall push-up, which really targets the upper body muscles. Place your both hands on the wall. Tapos, ang distance niya is shoulder width apart lang. Alright? Okay. This is for the chest muscles. Actually, this is for the entire upper body. Kasi nag work yung chest muscle natin, the arms, and of course, the back. And kasama na rin yung abdominals and lower back, inner core. Kasi um, you have to hold a certain position. So working out our upper body is really easy. Strengthen those muscles, Alma, and you're on your way to a fitter you. If you guys want to make over nako may bago kami paholo dito sa Fit and Fab, now you get a chance to become a fitter, more fabulous version of you, and it's all on us. That's right. So if you want that complete lifestyle makeover, well, all you guys have to do is write to us at fitandfab at jamienetwork.com. Now don't forget to include your name, your address, your contact number, and the reason why you need that makeover. Now we will be choosing our lucky viewer in the next couple of weeks. So you better start getting in those letters now. Nahumags, I'm sure marami magi email sa atin. I mean, who doesn't love a makeover, right? Once again, I'm Tarelli Carlos. And I'm Maggie Wilson. Catch us again next week only here on Fit and Fab. Fab.